stinking soils as hard as a rock. I told myself I'd never do it, but here we are. I'm gonna have to till. So ever since I created this food plot back in the woods, I have had this issue with the soil being too dense, too hard, can't get anything to really grow in it. The result of this is that my soil has gotten baked with the sun and it is just oh, Roots cannot grow through that. The seed hits it, lands on it, and it tries to germinate and it just can't get any steam. When the soil is not armed by the greenery, the sun can just bake it to snot. It can get right to it and evaporate all of that moisture that you have that is in the soil. The other problem that I've been running into with this is that because the soil is so compacted and hard, no oxygen is really flowing in and through the soil. So therefore, the root structures of the plants that I'm putting down are getting snuffed out. Okay, they can't really get a foothold in this soil. So by tilling this up, I'm going to hopefully get a little bit more oxygen flowing and therefore I should be able to get some plants to grow. So I borrowed a little toy from a buddy of mine, little Groundhog Max. Now on my first go around with this, I just hooked it right up to this hitch and uh, yeah, that didn't go so good. It, uh, it started to bend this thing up. So I went to the nearest welder and uh, he put on this bracket above this for me. and. The other day I started doing some tilling back in here with the, with this disc. I guess you, is it disking then, not tilling? <laughs> Got it going and it worked pretty well. And it started to get this soil a little bit more broken up and a little bit loose. But it's just stupid dry. As I was disking, there was like zero moisture coming up out of the soil. So I've got my work cut out for me to get this food plot going, but I'm gonna stick with a bunch of cereal rye and I'm gonna throw a bunch of clover in here and just try to get something growing. Just get this soil covered and then come fall, I'm gonna maybe throw in a little bit of some other stuff to see if I can get it to grow. But at this point, I'm just trying to have a food plot. So basically my goal in all of this is that I just simply need to get green growth covering this entire food plot. That is absolute step one for a plot like this, especially a first time plot out in the woods where like this was just, this was created with a dozer, okay? There's not this premium soil here. This is like rocky junky crap. So I need to get some soil structure going. I need to protect my soil. I need to arm it. I need to get some stuff growing so that I can go in here and have good food plots into the future. You can't just have a situation like this and think, wow, I'm going to have super good food plots right away from the get-go. No. You got to be like looking at this as a long-term investment to make the best food plot that you can. So I'm going to stop wasting time here. I'm going to get disking. I already cut my finger. I'm bleeding. Sand between my teeth. I hate tilling. I got goop in my eyes right now, sand and dust in my teeth. It's 
probably down my drawers too. One thing I will say is this Groundhog Max is really good. It just rips up this soil really good. I have got some of the hardest soil you will ever come across. And on a little dinky 425 wheeler, that thing does work. Now, I will say I'm not riding it right now because my engine light came on saying that the engine was too hot. So it does put a lot of strain on a wheeler using this thing. But this works if you do it in moderation. Moderation. So I've almost got my food plot completely ready to go to throw down some seed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to wait until we get some rain in the forecast before I actually throw something down because I wanna make sure that this stuff doesn't get snatched up by the birds, that it germinates, that it grows, that it turns into a food plot. I don't know if you caught that, but dust just came out of my beard. <laughs> my soil is in terrible, terrible shape right now. Oh, I need to get this thing growing here because right now my soil is lifeless. No biology. No nothing. Let me show you. If you see this here, zero moisture. The soil's kind of like a grayish color. There's, there's nothing happening. <sighs> Food plots are a labor of love. You put in the work, you put in the time, you do your best to make it better, and you get dust in the eyes. Well, that's a wrap on this video on my 18-acre deer habitat series. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel.